in my submission then, and I hold the same position now, we are speaking about what a person feels, views as, as who they are attracted to. Orientation is where your mind is at. I, I don't know that orientation means a lot more than that. And so where a person's mind is at, within the context that we use it, it is either attracted to the opposite sex, that is where I am at, or it could be somebody who is attracted to the same sex. And so as a society develops, persons feel more comfortable using certain terms. The term minor attracted people, or MAPS, should be used to describe people who are attracted to children. It's less stigmatizing than other terms like pedophile. Uh, a lot of people, when they hear the term pedophile, they automatically assume that it means a sex offender. Uh, and that isn't true, and it leads to a lot of misconceptions about attractions toward minors. Do you get it yet? Do you see what they're trying to do? He argues, or has posited, that God is sovereign. I take no issue with that. He argues and he has posited that God is supreme. Again, Mr. Speaker, sir, I, I think that no issue can be taken with that. He argues that God is the deity to whom we show devotion. And again, Mr. Speaker, sir, I grew up as a child here in Barbados, went to Sunday school, I did all the other things that the leader of the opposition did, except perhaps not going to the, cl the clergy. And, sir, I can take no, no issue with that. There is no expression of a sense of duty. There's no expression of a sense of devotion. There's no expression of a sense of dependence upon he who is supreme and sovereign. And therefore, this phrasing is very diluted. It is very watered down. It departs significantly and tragically so from that which appeared in the charter attaching to the 1966 constitution. All of the major religions in Barbados, Mr. Speaker, acknowledge a God, a supreme being, a sovereign being to whom devotion is due, to whom duty is served, and who gives us a sense of discipline and value. It is not something, sir, that is, is a, 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 an unpardonable, an atrocity. People fall in love with who they feel an affinity for. The Honorable Member for St. Peter made the point. And the former President of the United States, Mr. Barack Obama, argued it quite co coherently. We have to evolve. And, and, and the fact of the matter is, we have to accept that sexual orientation is a pattern of romantic attraction to persons of the opposite sex or the opposite gender, of same sex or same gender, or to both sexes or more than one gender, or even, sir, a pattern of asexuality, where you have no attraction to anybody at all. The Honorable Leader of the Opposition is seeking to mislead the House by referring to the fact that this government is trying to move away from the supremacy of God. There can be nothing further from the truth. Today, his name is Caitlyn Jenner. His name is Caitlyn Jenner. He does not identify as a him, he identifies as a transgender woman. Today, sir, a transgender woman, and has been diagnosed as having what you call gender dysphoria, a mismatch between gender identification, that is, your personal sense of what your gender is, and how your mind is oriented in terms of attraction of who you are attracted to. Minor attracted people, or MAPS, should be used to describe people who are attracted to children. Attracted to children. Attracted to children. Quite frankly, Mr. Speaker, so if we are going to study what is unfolding before us in the world, what is unfolding before us in the world, what is unfolding before us in the world. Mr. Speaker, the, intend, the, the entire gender rights debate and the whole issue of the sexual orientation platform are still very much undetermined issues in the world. You understand that? 
the whole sexual rights agenda, the whole sexual orientation platform, this whole business of sexual orientation, these are very much undetermined issues in the world right now as we speak, and we want to capture them resolutely in a document that constitute a charter. The rest of the world has not decided on these things. These things are still changing every day. There's public debate about these things all over the world. Developed countries and developing, but in Barbados, we who like to be leaders, who aspire to be leaders in everything, we want to lead the world in resolutely deciding on what these terms mean and capturing them in a document. That's what we're doing, you know, Mr. Speaker. The rest of the world is confused about it, but we seem to be absolutely clear in our minds what these things mean. And so we're capturing them in a document that we will pass in this house. We, how can we settle on them in a charter? terms that we're borrowing from the world when the world has not decided what these terms in fact mean. There is a non-binary gender concept where you are neither comfortable, you're comfortable neither with either being the male or being the female. God is sovereign. I take no issue with that. God is supreme. Again, Mr. Speaker, sir, I, I think that no issue can be taken with that. God is the deity to whom we show devotion. Sir, I can take no, no issue with that. The fact that the Honorable Leader of the Opposition wants to ascribe to me improper conduct by suggesting that even though I say that this is not a legal document, that it will find itself in the presence and included in the highest legal document the Constitution is an offense to my integrity that I really, really, really find it hard to accept and want you to repudiate because we have maintained that this is one, not the preamble to the Constitution, two, this is not a legal document that creates justiciable rights, and three, if it is the will of the leader of the opposition to change the language from creator, tell us what he wants. Justice Saunders says that the law and society are dynamic. If one part of the Constitution appears to collide with an, individual, an individual's fundamental right, example, the freedom of expression, then in interpreting the Constitution, the court should place a premium on affording the citizen, the individual citizen, his or her enjoyment of that fundamental right. Justice Witt and Justice Barrow both held that the law that discriminated against transgender and gender non-conforming persons and sought to criminalize their expression of their gender and their gender identity should not continue to stand. Well, Mr. Speaker, sir, that Court of Justice ruling, whether we like it or not, will bind Barbados. Whether we like it or not, so not will bind, has bound Barbados. The bulk of the people, sir, have not even read and are not even aware of what is in here. Not that they didn't have a chance. 